हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो आज हमें वीडियो रे डिस्कस करिवा बीएड रे टीचिंग मेथड ऊपर रे हमें तार केमती का स्ट्रेटजी रहबो हमें तावर जे डिस्कस करिवा ऑलरेडी आपन माने थंबनेल देखि जानि सथिबे तो बीएड फोर्थ सेमेस्टर जो एग्जाम हबो जो शेड्यूल धर बाहर सरची सेप्टेंबर 9 तारिख रे हबो सो से जो थ्योरी परे प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम प्रैक्टिकल मीन्स कोन न सब स्टूडेंट्स माने एस्पिरेंट्स माने जिबे कोडे न सब स्कूल को जिबे टीचिंग दवा पाए तो से टीचिंग ऊपर आज हम वीडियो बनेबे जे जते बेले गोटे गुडे एज बीइंग ए टीचर रे कि जते फर्स्ट क्लासरूम रे आपण एंटर करिवे करिसला परे आपण निजो को केमेदिका प्रेजेंट करिवे क्लासरूम रे निजो को केमेदिका पिलांग समर केमेदिका माने डेमोनस्ट्रेट करिवे तो से टोटल से जिनसो आज हमें वीडियो रे डिस्कस करिवा तो जदि फर्स्ट रहिछि आपण आगे आपण आपण को सेल्फ सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन देबे तापरे धर जो गुडे पोएम एठी गुडे नै छि कोन जे गुडे विलेज सॉन्ग एटा गुडे पोएम नै छि एटा मु गुडे नै छि विलेज सॉन्ग गुडे पोएम तो समान जेते बेले जो नागार्जुन यूनिवर्सिटी रे तो जे कोनसी अंडर आपण करू जों तो समान से बेले ताको हिसाब रे समान आपण को ओटे विषय चूज करके देबे तो आगे आपण को फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आपण कोन करे जेते आप क्लासरूम को एंटर करू जों आगे सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन देबे तापर धर जो जों पोएम पढेबे ता तार अबाउट द अथर बा पोएट विषय रे किछि कहिबे तापर आपण से सिनेरियो बा टेक्स्ट ऊपर जाके पढेबे ओके सो आज द टोटल त हम डिस्कस करिबे जेमिति मु वीडियो टी पढेबी जो अच्छा गोटे जिनसो कह दू छी मु जे जेतु आपन नागार्जुन जाय कि सेठी पढेबे तो ऑबवियसली सेठी यू हैव टू कम्युनिकेट विद द स्टूडेंट्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज तो इंग्लिश रे ही कहबा को पड़िवो तो सेठी पय जों 8 रु 9 मिनिट बा 6 रु जों जों 7 मिनिट जों छोटो वीडियो टी मु जों ताको मु वर्तमान मु जों माने पढेबी सो एटा भाबन जे आपन एज्यूम करंतु कि वर्तमान मु क्लासरूम रे अछि ओके तो मु क्लासरूम एंटर करली तो केमिति के वर्तमान मु निजर स्ट्रेटजी से जो 7 रु 8 मिनिट बा 10 मिनिट केमिति के मु पढेबी सेटा को कंप्लीटली इंग्लिश रे मु कहिबी ओके तो ता पुरु आउ इन्फॉर्मेशन दे देबी जो माने पर्यंत जो माने पीडीएफ नै नाहंती से माने पीडीएफ परचेस करि परिबे 77510061665 नंबर को व्हाट्सएप पर कॉल करि से माने बुझि परिबे पीडीएफ माने परचेस करि परिबे वन पेपर पे जदि नउ चुंदी 150 टका ओनली आ जदि टोटल चार्टर पे नउ चुंदी देन पर 50 रे सब आपन पाई जिबे विच सिलेक्टेड क्वेश्चन भी रही छि मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट मते मो भाबु छि प्राय त सब वीडियो नै सरनी आ जोन बाकी रही छि से माने पीडीएफ परचेस करिनि ओके चलंतु वर्तमान हम स्टार्ट करिवा जे टीचिंग मेथड केमेतिका रहिबो स्ट्रेटजी केमेतिका रहिबो हाउ यू प्रेजेंट हाउ यू डेमोनस्ट्रेट योरसेल्फ इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन नागार्जुन यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल ले केमेतिका आपन निजो को डेमोनस्ट्रेट करिवे केमेतिका प्रेजेंट करिवे केमेतिका टीचिंग देबे सेठी तो टोटल सेइ जो वर्तमान भाव में आपन एज्यूम करंतु जे जो विलेज सॉन्गटा दिया जाय छि तो एको वर्तमान में केमेतिका बे गुडे क्लास में एंटर करी केमेतिका मु प्रेजेंट करिवे सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग सर and good very very good morning to all the respected and honored teachers and invigilators who are presented over here so today i feel very privileged and very honored of uh, getting the opportunity to demonstrate and to teach all of you students and in front of all of the respected teachers so in this video we are going to or in this class we are going to discuss about a very interesting poem so before moving towards to the scenario of the poem let me introduce about myself that who i am and where do i belong to so my name is santun kaur i am from odisha i have completed my master degree in english and apart from this i have completed my uh, bachelor of uh, arts in english and i have uh, about to finish my uh, bed in english so as being an english teacher i feel very privileged and honored of getting an opportunity to uh, you know to demonstrate and to teach in front of all you students so right now we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic so let's start the session so in this video we are going to discuss about a poem so uh, i am given a poem to be prepared myself and that is called the village song so uh, the poem village song is written by sarojini naidu so it is very mandatory to know about the scenario or the synopsis of the poem before understanding the uh, about the author or poet so so first of all we need to know about the poet or author so the village song it's a poem and it's written by sarojini naidu and sarojini naidu is a child prodigy she is a freedom fighter and she is also a poet and the and one of the most utmost thing is that she is known as the nightingale of india so whenever you are asked in the classroom or any kind of persons or teachers that 
who is uh, called or who is known as the nightingale of india then one thing that you must utter from your voice that is the saroj naidu is known as the nightingale of india okay so that's all uh, about the uh, you know uh, about the poet or about the author and c saroj naidu as i already discussed in this uh, session so now let's get into the text okay so this poem the bhile song uh, i just want to give you a short kind of you know brief kind of introduction regarding uh, the bhile song that this bhile song is based upon the two characters i mean there are two protagonist characters in this poem and they are the mother and the daughter so the conversation is uh, uh, based on between the mother and the daughter that means uh, what the mother is trying to her daughter is that the daughter is ready to leave the home for um, for all the time and she is ready to go to the forest because the fairy fog are calling her fairy fog means your it's kind of a hypothetical uh, or uh, imaginary um, fact you can say so the fairy fox means the people in the jungle they are calling to the daughter that come child and um, live with us so but the mother the mother um, she, she she tries to restrain she she tries to stop the daughter of leaving the home because obviously as being a mother uh, no mom or no mother or no parents will um, agree to be separated from their child okay so in this video uh, the the daughter is try the, the the daughter is ready to go you know the the daughter is ready to leave the home and on the other hand the mother is trying to um, stop her or restrain her of not leaving him or her okay so first uh, start the text so honey child honey child where are you going so honey child means that means when somebody addressing uh, to your nearer or dearer ones um, by calling honey uh, honey child honey child so at the time we um, normally use honey child so that means the mother is affectionately calls her daughter by saying honey child honey child where are you going Okay, would you leave or would you cast your jewels all to the bridges blowing? So cast means throw. Okay, and uh, jewels means jewelry and bridges means cold wind. Okay, so the mother is trying to tell her daughter that would you throw your all uh, jewelry that had uh, that um, that uh, that wear bought from the jewelry shop and um, would you trying to uh, you know. Uh, throw the all kinds of jewelry to the bridges blowing bridges blowing means outside the home because you are not you know because you are not ready to uh, get married okay so these things is uh, the mother is trying to tell her daughter the third line is would you leave the mother who on golden grain has fed you that means the mother is saying to her daughter that leave leave means to be separated that means would you trying to be separated from me from me from me means from the mother who is uh, who has golden grain here golden grain means tasty food okay so the mother who has fed you the tasty food would you um, would you leave leave that kind of mother so the mother is saying to her daughter with so sadly with so mournfully okay and the last line is would you grieve the lover who is riding for two wedding grieve means would you give sad would you disappoint uh, would you disappoint to the lover who is uh, who is riding by the horse to marry you okay so these are the things that the mother uh, is trying to tell her uh, daughter so this one is the first answer so this kind of first uh, you know there are totally the, the poem village song is uh, contains of four stanzas but i discussed uh, only one stanza in this video so uh, lastly i want to uh, make you know one thing that this one this part one is called one stanza okay this one is called stanza and each stanza so this first stanza contains one two three four that means four lines so when four lines get congregated then we got one stanza that means in poem the uh, in prose it's called paragraph and in poem it's called stanza okay so this was all about how you should demonstrate or how you must demonstrate in the classroom whenever you are giving the teaching okay so i hope so the video if you like the video then please subscribe kare and share karibe so most importantly pdf jo man nahi nanti se man purchase kare nanti number hai double seven five one double zero six one six five number hai so this video is all about how we, how you should 
uh, you know demonstrate how you should present your teaching style in the classroom in Nagarjun in your city so that's all about in this video thank you take care